right, so I just had a live session um, that was kind of funny and it made me think that I should probably do a video about how to take direction from a client and how to figure out what your client wants. So, so in the industry, it is one of the most important skills to have and people definitely your clients and directors and producers definitely want to know whether or not you can take direction because it's imperative to finding the tone and delivery and performance that they're looking for so uh so i guess we'll talk about that i take direction very well i am very confident in my ability to take direction i prefer live sessions over anything else because i know that if i can get in front of the person who's making the decisions about the final tone we will walk away with exactly the kind of tone that they're looking for and it's because i'm able to kind of hone in on what they are wanting and connect with that through my delivery and performance and i think the reason why I'm so good at that is because from the beginning of my voice acting career, I have worked with clients from all over the globe, from dozens and dozens of countries. And what I learned early on was that people use different words to mean different things to themselves. So for example, a luxurious tone in American culture might come off as too sexy and flirtatious in a Middle Eastern culture, which has happened before. I had a client from uh, somewhere in the Middle East. I can't remember the exact country now, but they asked me for a luxurious um, tone. And the, a lot of the words that they used really read as that kind of embellished, um, giving luxury tone. And that's exactly what I gave them. But to them, it was way too sexy, way too flirtatious. And eventually what I ended up doing was just giving a very straightforward, natural, relaxed read. And to them, that very straightforward, natural, relaxed read was luxurious. So I had to learn how to really ask the right questions and figure out what somebody means because you're talking about like an energy and an emotion that we just assign words to and all of us assign those words differently. So I figured today's live session would be a perfect example and maybe you can pick up some tips on how to approach it. Today I had uh, a client that was directing me from Germany. Um, a few weeks ago, I had recorded a voiceover for them and most of my voiceovers are not live direction. People will just give me a couple words to go off of. If I'm lucky enough, they'll give me uh, maybe a music track that they're going to use or a video to reference to kind of help me understand the tone that they're going for. But the vast majority of the time, I just kind of have to use my own discretion and make the best decisions that I can based off of the few words that they give me. So this client asked for, they sent me an example that the tone was just very straightforward, very casual and, um, you know, very relaxed and authentic. Nothing try hard. It was very much like how I'm speaking now. Nothing like uh, particularly special about the delivery. And the feed, I gave them exactly that. The feedback was that they wanted something more bold and powerful. So I did something that had a bit more gravitas, something that was a bit punchier, something that felt more bold and more forward. And that wasn't what they were looking for. So they decided that they wanted to do a live session. So we hop into the live session. And as we worked through the session, I the feedback that they were giving me, they didn't quite know how to put it into words. So uh, basically what happened was they did want to go with that very straightforward read from the example that they sent me but the boldness and power what they meant by that was essentially they wanted me to speak with a german cadence but an american accent and we i was able to kind of glean that because they would just say that certain words didn't sound right to them. So I would say the word attention 
or details, you know, which sound very normal, but they don't say those words like that. So I started having to get so finely tuned into the phonetics of language and things like that to really understand what they were talking about. And basically, uh, what they wanted were all of the words to be tightened up. They didn't like S's that sounded more like this. They wanted it to sound more like this, you know, where it's very chopped at the end because in German, I guess that's more how they speak a little bit more, uh, I guess chopped is the word that I would use. Or um, in terms of pronunciation, they didn't like details. They phonetically use more of an E. So they wanted me to say details, as if I'm telling someone, not telling a tale. So I had to understand that whenever they said that it sounded funny, it's because they don't really use diphthongs the way that we use them in, you know, with American accents. So I had to figure out why they were saying details sounded funny, listen to the way that they said the word, and then explain the difference. And some of the words I literally just had to spell more phonetically. So whenever I was reading through the entire copy, I had all of those notes of exactly how they wanted that to sound. Or um, they didn't like some of the smoothness of the cadence. So if I said something like, we are doing this, they liked it to be more chopped of we are, and they didn't like words that blended together. So it really got into the weeds. I've, that's probably the most detailed I've ever had to get in a recording before, but they were very um, finely, attuned to the cadence of how something was sounding. And it's through being able to understand language, being able to understand phonetics, and being able to ask the right questions of like, okay, why does this sound funny to you? It sound, they were hearing an H in the word attention and they wanted it to just be lifted, like attention, right? So I had to place my tongue in a different place. And it was almost like I needed to have a little bit of German oral posture with none of the accent, which sounds kind of funny, but hopefully that gives you some information. So if you're um, receiving direction from somebody, don't be afraid to ask questions back if you don't fully understand. And I think part of that is already having an understanding that we all use different words for different things. So a lot of the times whenever I'm getting direction, I tend to rephrase something back or I might say something like, would you say that this has more gravity to it? Or would you say that this has more of a smile to it? Or um, you're asking for energy. Does that mean that you want more of a forward leaning energy where you're carrying the energy forward as opposed to a laid back, easy going energy? So it's important to develop that phrasing and to be able to have a very flexible understanding of language to know that people are just trying to communicate an energy to you and it's your responsibility to take the words that they're giving you and put it into a context and play with it to find exactly the right place where you sit. I really hope that was helpful. I know that that might sound a little you know convoluted or ambiguous but if you have any questions let me know. Good luck! No matter what